question is problem right here. The question is asking determine if the vector v minus 2 minus 3 1 is in the span of uh, these things. So let's do this. So to show this one, this one, uh, what I have to do, I have to arrange this in a column first. So this is going to be 1 1 1 and I have to multiply this one by x plus 1 minus 1 5 then y plus uh, 2 1 4 you can you can pick any alphabet like you can pick x1 x2 x3 it doesn't matter all you have to do is uh, you can you get a solution from doing this so x y c and plus uh, let's choose t and this is going to be minus 1 minus 3 3 and this is equal to minus 2 minus 3 1 so let's solve this one to solve this one first of all uh, I have to create equations so to create equation I have to multiply each of them so in this case uh, therefore this is going to be x plus y plus 2c minus t is equal to minus 2 and the second equation is going to be x minus y plus z minus 3t is equal to minus 3 and third is equation is going to be x plus 5y plus 4z plus 3t is equal to 1 now I can uh, arrange this one in my matrix form so this is going to be 1 1 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 3 and here it should be here 1 5 4 3 and the other side we are going to have minus 2 minus 3 1 now I have to do the ghost Yoda and if I do the ghost Yoda for this one uh, I can eliminate one of them so let's do this 1 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 1 minus 3 minus 3 and if I do the ghost Jordan first of all I can multiply the first equation by negative and add it to this third equation so if I do that minus r1 plus r3 this is going to be 0 right here and we are going to have 4 it's going to be minus r1 so minus 1 plus 5 here is 4 and we are going to have minus 2 plus 4 is going to be 2 and minus minus 1 is going to be plus 1, plus 1 plus 3 is going to be 4 the other side we are going to have minus minus 2 is going to be plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 then I can do the first to the uh, I can make this one 0 by multiplying the first equation by negative 1 adding to the second equation so let's do that so 1 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 and if I multiply the first equation by negative 1, it's going to be negative r1 plus r2, which will give us 0 right here. And minus 1 plus minus 1 is going to be minus 2. Minus 2 plus 1 is going to be minus 1. Minus minus 1 is going to be plus 1. Plus 1 minus 3 is going to be minus 2. Then minus minus 2 is going to be plus 2. Plus 2 minus 3 is going to be minus 1. Then, then the last one is going to be remaining the same. 4, 2, 4, 3. And if you see, we have a similar pattern right here. Minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, 4, 2, 4. So it's it's like multiplication of negative 2. But what I can do is I can multiply this one by 2 and add it to this one to eliminate this one, right? So let's do this. 1, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, and 0, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. And to eliminate this one, what I can do, I can multiply this one by 2 and add it to the third equation. So this is going to be 2 R2 plus R3, which will give us 0, 0, 0, 0. And the other side, we are going to have 2 times R2 is going to be minus R2, minus, minus 2, minus 2 plus 3 is going to be 1. So if we get 1, so if you see the pattern, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, this is if you have something like this this is no solution this means no solution therefore the answer for this uh, 
The answer for this question is if the vector v is in the span, the answer is no, it's not in the span because we don't have a solution for this one. So the answer is no, it's not in the span. In the span. And that's all about the first question. So let's do the second question. So let's re-raise this one. Okay, so now we have enough space. Now the second question is asking write uh, write u as a linear combination of v1, v2, and v3. We have to do the same thing right here. Uh, what we can do, we can arrange this as a column. One to one multiply by v1 plus v2 times minus two one zero. Then we can create a v3 times one one one. And that is equal to u that is minus one one minus one. Then what I can do I can multiply and create the equations. So first of all we have v1 minus v2 v2 plus v3 is equal to minus one. The second is 2v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to one. The third one we have v1 plus zero v2 plus v3 is equal to minus 1. Now I can create matrix form with this one so that's going to be 1 minus 2 1 and this is going to be 2 1 1 the third one is 1 0 1 and the other side we are going to have minus 1 1 minus 1 and if I if you see we have simplest form in the bottom 1 0 1 so I can switch that one into the top to make it make everything easier so we are going to do the ghost theorem. We have to have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's the pattern we are expecting, right? So let's see. 1, 0, 1. I'm sw swapping the third one with the first one. So that's going to be 1, 0, 1, minus 1. The second one, one is going to be 2, 1, 1, 1. The last one is going to be 1, minus 2, 1. And the other side, we are going to have minus 1. So let's continue in this other side. So now I have to, to bring this into course children, I have to eliminate, I have to make everything below and above the p vector equal to 0. So in this case to make this one 0 I can multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add it to the second equation. So let's do that. This is going to be 1 0 1 minus 1 and if I multiply the first equation by negative 2 it's going to be negative 2 r1 plus r2 which will give us 0 right here and negative 2 times 0 is going to be 0, 0 plus 1 is 1 then negative 2 times 1 is going to be negative 2, negative plus one, 2 plus 1 is going to be minus 1 and the other side we are going to have plus 2 plus 1 is going to be plus 3 then in the bottom it's going to remain the same 1 minus 2, 1 minus 1 now I can eliminate the third one by multiplying the first one by negative 1 and add it to the third one so let's do that 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 3 and if I multiply the first equation by negative 1, it's going to be negative r1 plus r3, which will give us 0 right here. And 0 multiplied by negative doesn't change anything. And this is going to be minus 2. And minus, minus 1, minus time 1 is going to be minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 is going to be 0. So this is 0. Then uh, the last one is going to be minus, minus 1 is going to be plus 1. Plus 1, minus 1 is going to be 0. So if you see, uh, for the second column, we have to have pivot in the second one. So this one have pivot in the second one. So I can swap this one with the second one to make this simpler. So let's do this one. So 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, minus 2. And I, I can also divide this one by negative 2, make it 1, because if I divide this one by, uh, it doesn't affect anything else because we all, all we have everything except this one zero. So my first column zero, last column zero. So if we divide this one by anything, it's going, it's not going to change anything. So let's divide it negative two. So it's going to be one. 
0, 1, 0. Then at the end, we are going to have 0. And the last one is going to be uh, 0, 1, minus 1, 3. Now I can eliminate this one by multiplying this one by negative 1 and adding to this one. So let's do that now. So 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And if I multiply the second division by negative 1, it's going to be negative r2 plus r3, which will give us 0, 0, uh, minus 1. And this is going to be 3. Then I can change this. Or uh, if you see, I have to eliminate this one, right? So before I change the sign, maybe I, uh, yeah, I can simply add them with the first equation to eliminate this one. That will make everything easier. So let's do that. So if I add r1 plus r3, this will become 1, 0, 0. And 3 plus minus 1 is going to be 2. Then second column is going to be remain the same. It's going to be 0, 1, 0, 0. Also, I, I am going to change the sign right now. So to make this one into positive, I can, I can multiply this one by negative. So if I multiply this one by negative, it will become 0, 0, 1, minus 3. So these are the v1, v2, v3 values. So we, therefore v1 is equal to 2, v2 is equal to 0, uh, v3 is equal to minus 3. So the question is asking, uh, write u as a linear combination of so these three things. So we can write this one as 2v1 plus or minus, it doesn't matter, plus let's say plus 0v2 um, minus 3v3 is equal to u. So you can write it as, write this one like this. So this is the final answer for the second question. And that's all about it. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.